Hi, Russell here. Uh, I'm standing in the valley at the bottom of the Burringbar Range in the village of Burringbar. And um, my horses are in the background there. You can, uh, you can actually see them there, Zephyr and uh, Kismet. And that's the reason why I'm selling, uh, why we're selling our house, is that we need more land. We want to move on. So uh, what you've got an opportunity for by buying our place is something very, very special because of its uh, historic nature. It was the old Upper Burring Bar schoolhouse headmaster's uh, principal's residence. I'm going to take you over there soon and show you through it, but uh, have an opportunity to buy an amazing piece of uh, real estate here, a duplex block of land, sewerage coming through in 2011, so it's actually two blocks of land for the price of one, with a partly renovated house on it, uh, three bedrooms, well, two bedrooms upstairs and uh, one studio or teenager's retreat down stairs. So something very special if you're looking for a sea change, looking for a tree change, five minutes um, to the nearest beach, seven minutes to pristine Wooyung Beach where there's never anyone there, eight minutes to Pottsville and uh, about 20 minutes to Byron Bay, 25 minutes to Coolangatta International Airport. I'm in the main street of Burringbar. This road goes right the way up to the back of the valley where there is some amazing rainforest and escarpment areas. We've got pretty much everything here. We've got a butcher, we've got a post office with a Commonwealth Bank uh, agency, real estate agent, multi-purpose store that's supermarket, bottle shop and everything else. And of course the uh, Burringbar Public School, which is about 500 metres uh, down here. Kindy to U6, great little town. So over there where the yellow flowers are and those cars, that's Tweed Valley, Ray, Tweed Valley Way. As you can see, the house is in a beautiful valley in a totally green and natural environment. It's the one with the blue roof just there. Number 7, Old Pacific Highway. As you can see, the house lives under an incredible canopy of rainforest trees. 